Shoplifting not only affects small retailers and superstores, but it also is reflected in the prices we all pay at the register. The National Retail Federation found more than half of the stores they recently surveyed are spending more on security equipment. Consumer investigator Mary Masihi gets an inside look at one of the latest tools in their anti-theft arsenal, artificial intelligence. We already use artificial intelligence or AI to make our lives easier. Siri, call Gabby. In self-driving vehicles. And now to spot shoplifters. We detect when someone is doing a suspicious gesture or a suspicious behavior, and we send directly an alert. Pablo Blanco is with Vision, a French tech company that has a device that connects to the camera stores already have. The images are run in real time through an algorithm programmed to alert management of suspicious activities. First one, when someone takes something from the, I need them from the aisle, you put it inside the pocket, inside the trousers, inside the jacket. Second one, when someone is consuming inside the store, when someone is drinking, someone is uh, eating inside the store. The algorithm also sends an alert when it detects someone putting an item inside a purse, backpack, or baby stroller. The idea for stores like Key Food in Hollywood is that they can free up employees to help customers on the floor. Having to sit and watch the cameras, that's not really a feasible task to do all day. So I think that this helps us eliminate that. To see how quickly the system works, I posed as a client looking for a deep discount. Seconds after I placed two olive jars in my purse, the manager got an alert. Sospechoso. Same thing happened in California when my NBC Bay Area colleague pretended to steal a bottle of wine. Got it. The technology is operating in supermarkets, pharmacies, liquor, and electronic stores. Uh, we have already 3,000 stores around the world. Uh, here in the U.S., we have already 300. To comply with privacy and consumer protection laws and prevent the algorithm from discriminating against a race, gender, or protected class, Vision says it doesn't store biometric information, only gestures. Just to give you an example, someone is still in the store, we send the alert. Next day, the same guy is coming back to the store, we don't send an alert. If he steals, we send a new alert, but we don't identify. Vision is just one of many anti-theft tools being used by retailers. At the University of Florida's Prevention Research Council, there's a team of scientists working with 110 tech companies and 18 retailers on anti-theft technology. We've got between 230, 250, depending on who you ask, technologies in here. Director Reed Hayes, a criminologist, shows us the mock store they use as their lab, complete with shelves and such. There's A on here that can pick up if you're not actually scanning an item at self-checkout. While they put those systems to the test, managers at Key Food in Hollywood say the new system has been eye-opening. We probably originally thought maybe there was one or two thefts a week, and I'm starting to think it's more than that. In Hollywood, Miriam Masihi, NBC6 News.